Hi everyone. Today's video I'm going to show you how to change the order defaults for your trades on Thinkorswim. Perhaps you don't want to trade 10 contracts or 100 shares every time. You don't want that to be the default order setting. And you know that you like five contracts or 500 shares of stock. So I'm going to show you how to set up the defaults so that you can have that be the first one that populates for each of your trades. So you come up to the gear symbol here at the top and then you click on application settings and you come over to order defaults and then there'll be different settings for stocks, options, futures and Forex, etc. So right now for stocks, it's showing a maximum quantity of 500 that we can order. This is like a safety valve in case you normally never order more than 500. You might want to set this to 501 or, or a number above that just in case you happen to hit 5,000 or 1,000. It will actually give you a warning and won't allow the order to go through. Now, as far as the default goes, right now here the default is set to 100. And then here, this, this number is how much it will increment up by every time you hit the arrow buttons. So let's say I want to have my default be 300 shares, which is that's what I normally trade. And then I want to increase it by 100. I'll leave that at 100. Let's say I've never ordered more than 1,000 shares, so I would want to set my maximum order quantity to 1,000 so it wouldn't accept an order that's higher than 1,000. It'll give me a warning and it won't let the order go through. So if I apply these settings and now come down and let's say I'm going to add a simulated trade and buy Apple stock, when I click on the ask price, it automatically now, checking down here, put 300 shares in my picture here as what I was buying. And notice how if I increment up, it increments in amounts of 100 each. So if I wanted 100, I could still could put 300 down, which is the default, and then arrow it down to 100 shares or up to whatever number I want. Now notice what happens when I get above 1,000. If I go to 1,100 shares and now I try to right click and place the order, notice it gives me this message up here. Sorry, the system did not accept your order. You exceeded the quantity limit. And that's the limit that I set. And it's just there to protect yourself. So you can set that number to whatever you want. And if I bring this back down to 1,000 and then I go to send the order, It'll actually let me send that order because that's acceptable according to the terms I set. Now let's go back to the options and see what kind of settings we have for that. So I'm going to go to order defaults again and I'll go to options and notice how the maximum quantity is 50 contracts and my default quantity is, is 10. Now most of the time perhaps I do five contracts so I'm going to switch that to five. And if you wanted you could have this increment by fives or twos or ones. But for now, let's just leave the 50 as the maximum and the five as my default and we'll increment in amounts of five and we'll see what that does. So now if I was adding a position, let's come down to July and I'll just, I'll just buy some at the money calls. And if I'm doing five contracts, which is my default, it's gonna build that here. And now if I up or down, Right? Just notice it's going to increment or decrease up or down by 5. So I'll go 5, 10, 15, etc. So this is how you change the defaults. And you should set them to whatever is your most common thing. Don't. I have a lot of students where the default is 10 contracts. So then on all their positions, they're buying or selling 10 contracts. And that's not in their risk parameters. They're putting too much risk on. When you, when you get to know the positions that you're buying, like if you buy SPY all the time or Apple all the time and you're setting up credit spreads or iron condors that are similar each time, you'll know which ones are the number of contracts that are going to make that risk amount for you. And you can have your order default set so that they're there all the time waiting for you. All right, so I hope that helped you. And if you have any questions, leave a comment. Or if you have any ideas on future videos, let me know and I'll try and accommodate you. Thanks a lot. Take care.